Nothing can remain stable, and neither can architecture. Should a building that dies in four dimensions also have its own circle of life? Hey guys, I'm Dan Liang, and I'm an architect based in Shanghai. I graduated from UCL, the Ballet School Architecture with Honor in 2018, then I uh, came back to Shanghai and I have been working as a professional architect for about almost four years in total. And uh, for now, I'm currently the project manager at the Bath Architects, which is a star company in China, meaning focus on uh, the design of the cultural and also tourism architectures. There are a lot of old buildings in the street where I live. And they are like stories to me. The story begins, develops, and ends. Most of them are forgotten, but some of them are remembered. Every building I see now has the traces of its past, which may not be in line with the architect's initial idea, but at this moment, it is consistent with its own environment. As architects, I think we need to accept this and consider the changes at the beginning of the design. Hi, I'm Zhang Rongjie, studying architecture in Tongzhi University in Shanghai, and this is our school history museum. We always put history into a house and forget the architecture itself is a piece of history. It shades, it extends, it grows, and it ages. It disappears be replaced by the natures, by the flows, and way to reborn. Hi, I'm Yang Delong from Chongqing University. This is the fourth year I live in Chongqing. Architecture is not a static or solid entity, nor is it cold, but to grow and vary at the latitude of space and time. Buildings should not be moved stiffly from one city to another. Instead, it grows and extends from the specific environment, coordinating the environment, space, and people together in harmony. On the other hand, it is human beings' behavior, both architects and citizens, that forms, impacts, defines, destroys, and remodes the architecture and urban space, bringing livingness to cities. This is the vitality of architecture. Hi everyone, I'm Ye Ruzi from Guangzhou, China, and I'm currently a fifth-year architecture student at Ningbo Tech University. For me, architecture is the mark of the times, and each period a city has experienced has left unique and historically significant features on the buildings of that time. Architecture is not lifeless, it's grown when weighted or demolished as society evolves and people's needs change at the same time. Architecture is not just a building, it's living, breathing, and changing. We live in different cities and we couldn't meet offline because of the pandemic. However, we use efficient online tools to help us communicate, brainstorm, and draw sketches. This is an impressive cooperation and we have completed the challenging design with our joint efforts. Out of passion and dedication to architecture, several like-minded young architects and students gathered to have a collision of mind with each other. Or in all, the city is alive and so is architecture. The living of architecture is not only reflected in the organic form, but also in the latitude of time and space. Architecture is constantly brazing, metabolizing, mutating, and regenerating. As architects in the new era undergoing the third industrial revolution, we need to be highly sensitive to new design tools, construction equipment, and building materials, and apply those new technologies to achieve the sustainability of architecture. We think architecture competitions are great stages where people of kindred spirit gathering together, turning their space philosophy into design. We believe in the infinity of creativity and that all attempts will be rewarded. Just give it a try.